All right, good evening, everybody. System Shock here with the 151st episode of our first run through Book of Hours on YouTube, playing as the artist. We have been working hard at um, getting the memories that we need to be able to level up right to the roots, and I think we are at the point where that's going to happen. Um, I am currently waiting to see if Mrs. Kill can wind up giving me an impulse. Uh, if so, that's good. If not, it's a shame, but we have the FET left over to work with it. Everything else is just a nice little bonus at this point. Uh, after that, I'll probably start working on books again. Um, but again, it, it sort of depends on where we where we think our, um, our biggest gains uh, will come from. So let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's see what... Uh, what comes out. We should get two chats with Mrs. Kill before before we need to make a hard decision. I mean, I suppose the other way I can think about this is I can push this a little bit later and just do the conversion overnight. Um, I think I'm going to earn some money at the, the Sweet Bones. Okay, I mean, intuition, I don't always get that, but not the most important right now. There it is in Camino Tizer. Mrs. Kill, as every local gossip knows, came from France to marry Mr. Kill, but there's scant trace of the continent in her accent now. gonna go for one more chat that's gonna push us a little bit later than sundown but we can still um, we can still work uh, work with what we've got so there's the earth sign so the parts that are remaining are the old moment and the um, the old moment and the impulse let me just double check that so yeah earth signs good Impulse and old moment are the two that remain. So I'll be basically 13 seconds off. That's not um, that's not a big problem. I'm not going to bother doing anything at the Sweet Bones tonight. One of the things I was hoping I might be able to do is just read one of the texts overnight, but I... Um, that was a nice to have. Okay, so revelation. Maybe we'll get something out of it. I don't know, but we'll have a chat with Mrs. Kill, but I am going to use the FET to read a book with impulse. And that clears out my lessons learned. Uh, we will sort of be picking the pace uh, at which we acquire new lessons. Let's do... I like ambrosial. Um, yeah, why not? I've already mastered this, but I could reread it and perhaps recall a memory. So yeah, in a little bit of time, um, there'll be a little time past sundown. With keeper level scale, an old moment can lea uh, lead to an earthquake name. You've had them too, those moments where we seem to look out at the world through another's eyes. What if those moments were real? So what happens here if, for whatever reason, we're not able to level up Rites of the Roots, I have to pick between keeping the Name Day Riddle or the Old Moment. I would almost certainly keep the Name Day Riddle, just be or sorry, the Old Moment, because the Name Day Riddle is really uh, quite easy for me to get back. Um, but of course, the better option is don't, um, don't do things that lead to me not leveling up Rites of the Roots. In fact, I'm just going to push Inks of Revelation... Uh, how do I do this? I'll do it like this because I know that I'm going to have Rights of the Roots level 9 before too long. Okay, another regret. So it was the right call for us to generate the impulse through reading. And I kept the Triss just because we can level up Rights of the Roots with Moth. This is the reason why I didn't bring back the heart. Or health, rather. 
Night has fallen, dawn will come soon. I could really make take my pick now in terms of what I want to preserve overnight, but like I said, there is the possibility that this uh, that this blows up, so we want to keep the old moment in that case. And of course, we're getting a memory for Mrs. Kill, so maybe I'll get like a stolen secret or something interesting. Ambrosial, Ambrose Westcott's inventive, one might say pioneering or indeed buccaneering, essays into kitchen craft. Westcott proudly announces his intention to transform cuisine to become an engine of alchemy, a fount of war. Westcott compares the ferocity of fire with the intensity of appetite as, in essence, one essence. A fire's ability to transform and destroy grows when it is offered the correct fuel. So too, he implies, can a sufficiently inspired appetite allow its possessor to consume greatly, strangely, unwisely. Impulse. It doesn't exactly make sense, but I understand it anyway. And Mrs. Kill has given us solace. Alright. Let's do... The day's objective, rights of the roots. Excellent. At last, I approach mastery. Having secured that, we'll now think about what we want for... Um, so basically, like, what do we want to do uh, for tomorrow? I can see some sense in trying to make another hive's lament, seeing as it's a permanent memory, but I don't really have anything that helps me out with that. So the other alternative says, well, what if we went for like a really difficult, um, like a really difficult book to read? Actually, uh, the regret would be nice to hang on to. Um, but, uh, I don't believe I get to keep that. Yeah, I mean, my choices here are solace and gossip, so maybe I shouldn't be stressing too much about it. Um, we'll keep the gossip. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there was any kind of logic behind where I, um, I laid all of these out. I think for the manner in which the alchemist was spared, I'm going to need to generate a memory. Um, scar in the sky. I'm just trying to think of things that won't require a whole lot of effort on my part to level up. So quenchings and quellings will have a little bit, um, a little bit of effort. I'm going to leave the white jade tablet for much later. All right, memories fade, assistance departs, but the soul is refreshed. Okay, so first up, uh, I'm just going to double check that at the pale, oh, <laughs> not pale desk, uh, Westcott's desk. I'm just going to make sure I don't have the option of uh, reading the forge text immediately. Ugh. Okay, well, I can do this on my own. So 10, 2 from the metal, and we would need uh, at least 1 from a memory. It doesn't even matter what memory, but... So we can definitely do that. Um, I'll take the Trist. Actually, yeah, doesn't really matter which one, I suppose. Um, OK, so we take the Trist. Um, Foresight. I don't even remember which one I was reading before. Old Copper Nose and the Softer. Oh, okay. Opus, Opus Magnum, uh, Carillium. Okay. Um. So let's get back some of the... Oh. I'll bring in Mrs. Kill just as a memory generator. Mrs. Kill's mood always improves when I drop by. If you don't choose a topic, Mrs. Kill will offer help as a friend. Um, okay. I think my first priority is counterintuitive as it sounds is going to be restoring all of the sort of the, the persistent memories that I've lost. 
So I'm going to get another Earth sign. I'm not going to pick a Newman quite yet. Well, I mean, I guess I can... What's the most likely Newman I'm going to need? Probably the dream of the conspiracy of the lower skies. So I've got 10 Grail. What does that get me? Great signs and great scars. Okay, this is interesting, actually. So if I take a 10, then I can add a 3. You know what? We can actually read this without too much trouble. So the wonderful shape. Blessings and invocations of the triple knot recorded at a sanctuary in Cyprus notable for its weavers, sculptors, and gardeners. I've already mastered this, but I could reread it and perhaps recall a memory. There might have been a reason why I picked that specific book, by the way. Mrs. Gill stands ready to help. You always cheer me up, she says morosely. So one question might be, well, why did you do that when you talk with Mrs. Kill, who might give you a satisfaction? And the answer is I want to read these books as soon as I can. So I've carried a memory like a flambeau safe through the mazes of night. Uh, but there are a few little side tasks that I can do in the meantime. So I'm going to read two books tonight, which is going to kind of put me uh, in a little bit of trouble, but I, I also know that Anbury and Lapdairy is not that, like, it's very low, so it's not going to take that much to level it up. There it is and give me no tizzer. Mrs. Kill, as every local gossip knows, came from France to marry Mr. Kill, but there's scant trace of the continent in her accent now. So, even though the foresight would have been nice to use, we actually have what we need to be able to read this text right away, and I want to get this stuff done fast. So, we will use VAC. So now we take our transformations and liberations. We take the regret. We're at 13 of the required 14, so we'll just bring in our trusty compass or a spanner. Forge the kindled flame. I can master this mystery. Mrs. Kill has seen more of the world than she usually lets on. Conversations with her yield the occasional surprise. And this is, you know, just a nice to have in terms of... Um, you know, we're, we're able to decide what we want in terms of um, lessons a little bit sooner. Opus Magnum uh, Carulium. Ambrose Westcott used to render the title of this venerable and anonymous work mockingly as The Big Blue Business. A kinder translation would be The Great Work in Azure. The reasons for Westcott's enmity to this work are clear to any pyroglyphicist. It is written at least two centuries before he was born, but anticipates or undermines many of his preferred conclusions. The work in question is the creation of the blue gold allegedly necessary for the terrible rite which allows a forge long to become a name. The book mentions that pyroglyphics techniques can be used with forge to create iotic essence as a necessary component, but withholds the final step, insisting that the consequences are too dire and that any interest should remain only a matter of theory. Wits, wits forge and fire blast, meanings press and screw. Now, um, we're not completely lost when it comes... Well, I mean, we might wind up getting, you know, a, a foresight from other sources, but we're not completely lost with this foresight. We can still use that to level up Anbury and Lapidary. Okay, there's my Earth sign. Now, I'm probably going to turn that into a, um, a Hive's Lament. Okay, the wonderful shape, blessings and invocations of the Triple Knot recorded at a sanctuary in Cyprus notable for its weavers, sculptors, and gardeners. The roots go deep, the knots remain. The final invocation is one for the restoration of the roots to be spoken before an altar of the triple knot, but puzzlingly, 
it should not be spoken by any priestess of the knot or even by one who has been initiated into their mysteries. So this might make a little more sense when you think of Tridesma Hyra, the rites of the Sisterhood of the Triple Knot, which include certain mysteries of the dwellers in the wood behind the world. So um, we've actually, this is the second of two books which have referred to specific lessons that might be used at an altar before the Sister to the Triple Knot, which is somewhere down here. Um, in fact, I think the dawn period is pretty explicit in terms of... Uh, 599 is the traditional date of the first foundation here, sometimes called the Abbey of the Black Dove, sometimes the Abbey of the White Crow, but the Sisterhood of the Triple Knot first built their temples here much earlier than that. So uh, one was... Um, well, we can talk about that when we do it, but we do have uh, a pretty... A pretty clear uh, indicator in terms of what our next um, secret of the house is going to be. But before we do that, let's get reading. That was not what I intended. There we go. Uh, so we're one short, so we need the spice scales. There we go. Grail birth. I can master this mystery. Enough grail to match mystery grail. Okay. So we've got two books that are building us up. I should note that um, Great Signs and Great Scars is a bit more difficult for me to level up, but I'm going to I'm going to work with what I've been given. Uh, I am going to turn this earth sign into a... Uh, into a, uh, sorry, into a, uh, there's not much work on offer in Brand Crude, but I can find six pence worth of odd jobs. I'm going to turn this into a Hive's Lament. I just need to decide what I want to give up for it. Um, so Knock, Grail, and then I think it's Forge and Sky. Yeah. So we don't have anything from either of these two to work with. Okay, that's fine. So we will go back to our most reliable source of scent. There's other uh, sources of scent. This just happens to be convenient. Now I have uh, neglected gardening and other activities, so I'm not getting any blue gra blue crown or anything like that. <laughs> so Mrs. Kill's coming in with the satisfaction. Um, but again, you, you kind of pick, you pick your battles, right? In this case here, I'm, um, I'm a little bit more focused on memories that might allow me to do a bit more as I, as I go through the house. And, uh, I also want to get through my sort of backlog of works, which we're doing a pretty good job of right now. So even if it means that, you know, I wind up having a day where it sort of feels like maybe maybe I'm not getting that much, maybe I'm more building towards things, I actually don't necessarily think that's always a bad... I don't always think that's a bad outcome simply because I'm, um, you know, I'm able... Like when I run into these situations like, you know, we will with the white jade tablet where it's going to be really difficult to um, to get that last level of rights of the roots. Basically, it just all of these are little things that wind up, you know, if I get rain on a day, I can completely rebuild the day towards um, towards achieving that goal. And it just means that I have. I can sort of relax on a few other things, or I, if I have a mistake, it just gives me a little bit more uh, security. And of course, if I have a bunch of memories set aside, uh, once I've leveled up all of my skills, maybe then I can start seeing what some of the other crafting options are that I haven't um, that I haven't taken up. So there's a few different reasons for um, taking a beat on on some of the days. Uh, the way I'm making money right now, this is actually specifically intended to help me with leveling up the the various um, the various uh, lessons that I'm going to be getting. I probably should have planned this out a little bit better, actually. So, like the fixing and mending, I should definitely be saving to level up. Um, saving to level up uh, Anbury and Lapidary. 
Although I guess I could use the Faust in that case. But great signs and great scars also needs that. Alright, as I used to say in my youth, the day is done and so am I, but I've earned my pay. Uh, so, okay, so if the Faust is going to help me out with... Yes, okay, so we still use the Shaft in this case. It is winter and the storms have tightened the seas. I am sitting before the fire in the sweet bones with a beef and potato pasty in one hand and a hot ale posset in the other. There it is and can be no tizzer. Mrs. Kill, as every local gossip knows, came from France to marry Mr. Kill, but there's scant trace of the continent in her accent now. Once I have the um, persistent memories that I want, uh, my next priority will be to get that uh, secret of the house. But the secret of the house is just another book for me to read, so there's not quite the same urgency behind behind doing that. Okay, there's the Earth sign. Hive's Lament should return or should uh, arrive shortly. I probably want to think about getting a Didumos at some point, but that's not today's priority. All right. The manner in which the alchemist was spared. In 1782, Anel Verdier used this text as the basis for a presentation to the Academy of Sciences in Paris. He was executed in secret the following morning without trial. In the days of the Carapace Cross, when humanity lived in the dark and ate on its knees, humans could enter the mansus like vermin. One learnt the arts of flint, the arts of shaping and remaking. Through the black, the yellow, the red, the unwise mortal ascended to the shadow of the egg unhatching and remained in his service. He may be there to this day. So two Anbury and Lapidary lessons, and we got a foresight for our trouble. So I think I'm going to have to realign the bookshelves one more time. I wish I had a better system, but I really don't want to mess around with uh, a third shelf just be on the basis of one book. I might, um, I don't know, there might be a little bit of efficiency that I can find here. So if I moved Beguiling Melodies and I put them onto this shelf, um, and then Fear might be able to fit on these. I don't know though, like it's it's a little hard, like it does take a bunch of effort to try and see whether or not a shelf is a good candidate first and then, um, you know, if it, if it doesn't turn out then I've just spent a whole bunch of time and I'd rather not spend our last few minutes for uh, today fighting with shelves. Okay, now Enbury and Lapidary. It'd be nice if I could, so the foresight helps me for the first one. And then I can use the Hail and the Solace for the second. So yeah, we can actually get that uh, leveled up right away. So that'll eventually become a level two. And then from there, that'll become a level three. So we'll start with the Faust. There's always something more to learn. Improve the skill to level two. This will help, uh, sorry, uh, will increase its aspects, which will help with craftings and make it suitable for higher branches on the Tree of Wisdoms if you haven't already committed it. So I'm going to need to, in fact, what I might do, I might um, use the Shapt in this case. Okay, there's a Fear. I don't think Fear is going to help me with the uh, great signs and great scars. So I think what I'll do here is I'll use the core to bring back, or to make some money and then bring it back. 
Okay, the dream of the conspiracy of the lower skies. The disgraced oracle, Daemon Azanatan, sifts through the tall tales of Penelope of Gordian, the work of the court poet Cal, and the forbidden fragments of the work of the adept Aratres, identifying common themes. Daemon insists that the hours, far more than mortals, are subject to their passions, to hatred and even to love. The seasons of famine and plenty, the turn of the earth, the transformations of the furnace, all these are only the results of the enactment of the lesser passions of the hours. Damon suggests that the Hours have constrained their rivalry to avoid a war within the House of the Sun. He identifies the fear of the crime of the sky as the reason that Hours do not satisfy other passions. He speculates on the horrifying possibility of Hours turned Alukite. What then would they devour? So gossip for that. And this is going to take some effort, um, but not impossible okay so let's um let's see what i'm up against okay so i only need two element you know what that's not so tough actually Uh, depending on what Mrs. Kill gets me, it might be an idea for me just to restore an element of a third element of the soul. Maybe we'll bring back the Arab or something like that. A buzzing in the skull. Okay, there's the hive's lament. I still don't have an old wound, but we won't work. Uh, we won't work on that tonight. I just don't have the elements of the soul for it. Better now. Let's bring back an Arab here. Well, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter which one. We're only going to level this up once. So just as a, just in case I change my mind, uh, we'll bring back something that can earn me money. We'll see where Mrs. Kill's at. Um, maybe halfway through. Well, not halfway, but. Right, the skill is now level 2, its power aspects have also increased. I am no expert, but I'm no dabbler either. Okay, stolen secret. This is great! So I'll probably just be earning some money out of this, or maybe I will make that old wound. There it is in Camino Tizer. Mrs. Kill, as every local gossip knows, came from France to marry Mr. Kill, but there's scant trace of the continent in her accent now. Uh, actually, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We've got a Wist. We've got a Core. We've got a um, Metal coming on the way. Oh, actually, you know what? The metal will probably be the most helpful for the edicts. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong on that. So if we use the core here, I can generate the old wound. Yeah, let's just generate the old wound. <laughs> but what do I level up great signs and great scars with, you moron? <laughs> I really didn't think that one through, so I am going to have to spend the money to bring back uh, Arab or... Um, that was a completely unforced error. I absolutely could have used the Wist for that. Alright. Uh, Anbury and Lapidary. Lightning is a little life, and jewels are its eyes. Ava de Wolf. I know I'm getting close to the end, but we should be able to wrap this all up. Okay. So the metal's no big deal. Um, well, maybe... I think I'm going to use the sun's weakness now. Okay. Um, it's going to be a bit of a tight schedule, but I can see this working. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? If I use the sun's weakness, then at the very least... Um, I can just use that as an input to... Hmm. 
I'll give it the 10 seconds with Mrs. Kill. So what I'll do is uh, the metal, I will definitely get um, the sun's weakness with it. The Wist, I'd prefer not to get something with Grail, but if it comes down to it, I will... Uh, I will... I'll, like, generate a Beguiling Melody or something like that. But again, we'll see what Mrs. Kill winds up giving me, because if it's something with a Knock, if it's something with a Grail, um, then I don't need to... Put the extra effort in. Move gingerly while the pain lasts. Okay, that storm doesn't really do anything for me. There it is in Camino Tizzer. Mrs. Kill as every local gossip came from France to marry Mr. Kill, but this can't trace of the continent in her accent now. Uh, let me just take a minute. So we've got 48 seconds. 30 seconds is too long to wait on this, I think. So... I am going to spend the Wist. Yeah, we can do Beguiling Melodies. Or uh, Morphe Codex. So yeah, a little bit of a, a weird way to, to end the day, but certainly we're, we're ready to... We're kind of ready for any challenge that gets thrown at us. I'll probably want to put some effort into leveling up um, Signs and Scars, uh, just because... I mean, eventually it'll be level 7, and we don't have forever on the uh, in the season. Like, I am going to need to, to wrap it up. I just want to make sure I'm not missing something obvious. And again, I still have the things like the Didumos and all of that. Like, I technically can use those. Uh, I can also... Sorry, I, taking the time, I can, you know, try and build uh, build one of those if the mood takes me. But I think reading books and leveling up the things that I want are slightly higher priority. Uh, I think in this case here, I'm happy to wait the 11 seconds. You know, if Mrs. Kill winds up giving me something with Grail or Knock, then that saves me the trouble. Oh, right. Sorry, never mind. I don't, um... I forgot I got the Beguiling Melody for that very reason. The Morphe Codex, a, a, codex, a priest, priestess of the Sister of the Knot, claims to have discerned the true meaning of the Thunderskin's birth. The writer credits the Red Grail, the Ring Yu, and the Horned Axe, the powers the Sisterhood reveres with agreeing a final treaty between the hours of the house and the hours they displaced. The Thunderskin loved the Yu, and the Grail destroyed him as restitution for the slaying of the Horned Axe's sisters and brothers. The Thunderskin entered the Mansus through the Peacock Door, a privilege never given to the Witch and Sister, but then their merit was much less. The writer admits that entry through the Peacock Door is unseemly, but insists that under the circumstances there was no other way. So, we will take the Arab. We'll position ourselves... Well, okay, so we're in position 5 now, but we can still... We will eventually be 7, so we might as well get everything in place for that. So satisfying to have come so far. Okay, that's a pretty decent place to be. I guess I should also preserve a memory. Uh, we don't have anything related to great signs and great scars that I need. Um, my next book. So quenchings and quellings could use the heart. The question is, do I want to do two level five like that would be two things that i'm trying to bring up to seven like level seven or eight uh i don't even know where to start with this because we already have preliminal meter all of these are tough actually uh pentiments and precursor well okay so the problem with pentiments and precursors like it's a nice it's a nice thought but i would be fighting for grail at that point 
I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we do go for it. Um, but yeah, the the question really just kind of came down to: Do I like does saving either of these really help me out? Um, I guess the intuition. You can hang on to that. No, I can't. Now that night has fallen, I can rest and perhaps dream on the day's doings. Skill is now level 5. Its power aspects have also increased. So I'm trying to remember uh, the other persistent memories that I might want to take with me. I've got the Didumos, which would require another Ascendant Harmony. Um, I'm sure there's others that I'm just not thinking of right now. But I'm pretty happy with where we're at for... I'm pretty happy with where we're at in terms of the memories. Um, essentially, these are buying me the option in case something comes up. I'm thinking probably I should read the... I, what I'm probably going to do is read the um, the Key of Night right away, just because it's it's an easy enough one for me to, to read with Halen Hollow. In fact, I don't even need to use the health for that. Uh, if I wanted, I could... Um, in fact, there's a pretty good argument for me not using health to read that. Um, because then that would free it up for Pentiments and Precursors. So, anyways, that's probably the next thing that I'm going to do on Monday's episode, assuming I remember to do so. Um, a little bit more difficulty in terms of Great Signs and the Great Scars. So this one I might want to focus a little bit more on using uh, Shapt and Core to level it up. But the big challenge just comes down to um, generating five and then six memories. It's not on its own a very difficult thing to do. Um, but when basically when I'm also at the same time, when I'm also trying to level up Pentiments and Precursors, which takes Grail and Scale, and the fact that there isn't that much um, scale running around, uh, I, I basically kind of wind up fighting for the same resources. So um, definitely the higher priority is Great Signs and Great Scars because Prentiments and Precursors is pretty easy for me to level up. And I suspect that I'll probably only have one or two lessons that I'll be getting from that anyway. And I think that should take me to winter, uh, through, through the end of winter. So of course we'll get the stipend, we'll have another visitor, and uh, we also have the chance of rain. So... Um, I think the way I am going to handle, like, there's a little bit, there's a bit of a balancing act that I need to do with the White Jade Tablet, because I suspect it's going to give me multiple Rites of the Roots memories. So the way I'm thinking about the White Jade Tablet is I'm going to wait for a day when there is, uh, rain. Um... Which it kind of sounds like there is right now. Um, but essentially... That's hail. I was like, wait a minute. Um, but yeah, so I think the, the way that I'm going to handle this is that when we get the rain, uh, what we do is that's when I put the effort towards reading the White Jade Tablet. Off of that... Um, we have more or less the things that I need to be able to level it up. So remembering that in order to level up Rites of the Roots, it was Impulse, Earth Sign, Sun's Weakness, Name Day Riddle, Scent Old Moment, Rain, and the Hive's Lament. That's what it would take to get that to level 9. So the things that would require some effort would be the Old Moment, and that's it really actually it's really just the uh it's really just the old moment because the name day riddle i just need a memory for that um so essentially the the longest part of it, of that process really is reading the jade tablet i'm obviously also going to need to get the scale memories that's not trivial but that's a minute right and i can do that while i am reading the great uh the white jade tablet 
Now, because the White Jade Tablet is a fairly high level mystery, I suspect I'm going to get more than one um, uh, more than one lesson out of that, and that you know that's going to be its own trouble. Maybe what I'll do is the original plan that I had in terms of leveling up Inks of Revelation. And, you know, at that point, I can sort of decide, well, is Nectar or is Moth the thing I want to prioritize? So, for instance, the fact that Drums and Dances can make something useful like the Hive's Lament, maybe I want to direct my attention towards leveling that up. Um, some of the other options here. Actually, Coil and Chasm, there's a fairly good argument because that's how I get my old moment. Being able to level up, uh, be being able to use less scale to level up the old moment would be uh, would be a useful a useful step. Um, so whatever it winds up working out to be, it'll kind of depend on how many lessons we get at the end of it. But um, but yeah, the big thing here is that I'm the reason why I take the time to sort of get some of these things in the background is. It gives me the option so that if the rain comes, I know, okay, we spend, you know, two minutes reading the book. While while we spend those two minutes reading the book, I'll get the other things that I need and we can make sure maybe by the afternoon I have, um, you know, I have that last level that I need. Anyways, all of that will be dealt with next week. Thank you very much for watching. I know I had a couple of extended silences over the course of this week. It's just been, it's been busy. <laughs> um, so hopefully that wasn't too tedious, but... Uh, if it was, better thing for me to do is to wrap it up. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.